in three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Your friend John here again with 3D Printing News. In three, two, one. Hello, everybody. It's your friend John here again. Your buddy with the 3D printer, GeoDroid John, also known as John. Let's talk about some things that are happening in the news lately. If you are into 3D printing and you're following any type of news information, you know what's going on with the Liberator and Defense Distributed and DefCAD. Donald J. Trump himself did do a tweet today. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at Donald J. Trump's tweet. Where is it? He's in Florida today. Let's go back. Wow, he tweets a lot. Holy jokes. Well, there we go, right here. I am looking into 3D plastic guns being sold to the public. I already spoke to the NRA. Doesn't seem to make much sense, even though it's his administration that dropped the lawsuit against Defense Distributed. Why does this matter? Well, let's take a look at Defense Distributed. Autocorrect, help me out. There we go. Def Dist. Okay. Defense Distributed is the the Texas-based company that actually came out with a 3D model of a gun. And they also have accessories for parts that are legal to make on your own, such as AR-15 lower receivers. But there's been a problem with the way they were they were making th a 3D printed gun and all these organizations came down on them hard saying that they were manufacturing arms and distributing them and this is against the like, anti-terrorism stuff so they cut shut them down government took down their files so that they couldn't be accessed which is called what's it called defcad i believe defcad here we go defcad so DefCAD is where they host. It's basically the Thingiverse for 3D printer printed weapons. It's much more cleaned up than when I found it years ago. But there is, you can click on these things, but you can't actually download the file. It's just errored. So what happened here? Something happened. Okay, let me back, take a step back and explain what was going on. Oh, I thought I had a ca camera device here. Oh, I guess not. Okay, so I thought I had a camera device on the other one. Now, what's been going on is that the government thought it was illegal for them to make these weapons, or at least to, dis to distribute the files. Cody Wilson made the files. 3D Systems had a whole thing. If you're interested, just Google Cody Wilson 3D printed gun. He actually made a gun that shoots that's made out of 3D printed plastic. Now, the reason this is a problem is because they shut him down and they took away his, made him take down his files. So he's been fighting them. And yes, I believe recently the government settled the case and said, we're going to stop fighting you on this. It's a First Amendment, right? You're allowed to distribute code because that's all an STL file is. It's code. And keep um, distributing this information because it's freedom of speech. Not to mention the Second Amendment things that go into owning a gun. It's legal to own a gun. It's legal to manufacture a gun. It's free speech to distribute code. There should have been no problem to begin with. And I don't have a site on this. I just th think it's interesting 3D printer news. Give me a second to pull up this um, live stream on my own phone so I can follow along with the comments. Probably no one's even listening, to be honest. But I just feel like it's important to get this information out right now, see what's going on here. So. These files have already been released. They're already out there. And let me see if I can find my own videos. Where are we at? My channel. If you're out there watching, I want to hear from you. Let me turn this down. Got four watching now. Okay. Okay, we got uh, what What I think YouTube, Ron Floyd, Tube77, uh, what I think Ron Floyd. Four of us are watching. Okay. For the tight community I have, tell me what your thoughts are on 
3D printed weapons. I think that they are extremely dangerous to the person making them. That it is really dumb for somebody to actually 3D print a gun and make it without ex extreme testing. There would be so much testing. I would never want to actually shoot a 3D printed gun unless I've tested it over and over again. So let me get my stuff set up here. I'm just trying. There we go. We're back with the webcam. Okay, so you got Defense Distributed. This is the Texas based company that actually distributed the files. They created this gun called the Liberator. He actually shot it. And let me see if I can pull it up. Let me see. Cody Wilson shoots. Here it is the Liberator. Here it is. This is fair use. I'm talking over it. So, oh, this is somebody else. Okay, come on, man. Don't don't jack my stuff. Okay. Well, somebody else here shooting the 380. Um, shout out to Nikki Craigslist. Okay. So he's got eye pro. She's got eye pro on, earmuffs, proper safety equipment. The Liberator is supposed to be printed in the highest strength stuff you have i wish they showed it closer Where'd it go? was that it it's just it's just like a 22 i think I believe she's shooting the 380 version so it's let's give her a thumbs up there guys go subscribe okay so it does work it does shoot it's a one and done the barrel comes off it's a dangerous gun for yourself so i think that um the technology in of itself is extremely dangerous, but I do believe you have the right to be as stupid as you want in the United States. So the government was supposed to stop fighting them, but recently a U.S. judge in Seattle has blocked the release of software that allows customers to 3D print their firearms. Now this is a problem for me because I'm in California and I believe that another state's judge doesn't have the right to tell me what I can personally own that's legal to own in my own state. Whether that's something stupid that will might hurt myself, I'm allowed to have it. Um, if you want to block it for your own state, that's fine. But the administration dropped the case. I don't see how a Seattle judge has the right to put an injunction on this. U.S. Di District Judge Robert Lasnick issued a temporary restraining order halting the release hours before the August 1 deadline. That's why I'm bringing it up. Because tonight what I was going to do was demonstrate to you the gun that I had already printed from like five years ago. It's not a well-built gun. It doesn't fit well. Uh, I made it you know, five years ago. Some of my 3D printers have uh, uh, been better since then. But um, it's not a great design. And I wanted to show you how stupid it was to try to make a 3D printed gun unless it's your sole purpose. Um, so there's irreparable harm is what he's claiming. Um, and how do you, you can go to this website. It's the BBC. I, I don't know how biased the BBC is, but I just wanted to get it like a third party. I mean, none of the nation's website out there. Um, here you can see the video of Co Cody Wilson playing the video, uh, uh, shooting it. Um, it works. In, uh, it didn't blow up in his hand. He made it out of ABS. It looks clean. I like it. I like the design. I like the idea that you can make a weapon in your home if you absolutely needed to. Let's say, you know, um, I just like the idea of making anything in your home that you want. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna leave that to you to watch on your own. Do your own research. Don't use me as your source of news. Just as a taste, okay? So there's 20 states or something like that. 20 state attorneys are trying to fight this. They keep calling them blueprints instead of files. I think that makes it easier for them to, to fight against it. But here's the deal. These files are already out there, people. So I came home. Uh, the first thing I searched for were the Liberator STL files. Guess what I found? Liberator gun files, full, 3CAD model from GravCAD. I uh, registered for a thing. I confirmed my email, and here we go. I have all the th files. By the way, I already had all the files saved from five years ago. And look, they're all right here. 
this injunction did nothing other than show that there's a pol politics involved in this whole grab for this one website to host the files. These files are already out there. They're not going anywhere. But they want to make it harder for you to actually get data or someone's designs. And it just, I mean, this is basically public knowledge. The genie's out of the bottle now. It's, why are we fighting this? So um, this thing crashed when I tried to run it, but I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I'm going to try to open it back up. But last time I...